guys, GT Runner here. Welcome back to episode three of the Road to Bath Half. So this week covers the 8th to the 14th of January. So pretty big week for me of a track session in the week and a Saturday long run session. So yeah, let's get straight into it. We're Monday, easy full recovery. Just yeah, shaking out the legs from Saturday's counting cross country. Just nice and easy, nice and slow. A little bit of a pickle piggle mashed up route. But yeah, nice, relaxed way to start the week. So moving into Tuesday, which is the rest day for this week, no run. Instead, a really solid, about 45 minute-ish S&C session. Really started to get more consistent and keep myself accountable in terms of my S&C. Obviously, it's only been three weeks. It's not enough to really see any gains and results. Needs to be doing this over the whole 12 week period. That's why it's a 12 week half marathon plan. But yeah, it is a good start. It was a good actual session as well. Sort of starting to get that strength a little bit more. Definitely going to do another movement assessment in a few weeks' time. See, and compared to that one I did in the first episode, and I think if I can keep myself consistent, should be some good, good visible improvements compared to that first one. So yeah, then moving on to Wednesday, sort of the medium run of the week, seven miles. 55 minutes on a classic, pretty hilly route, about 150 meters elevation for seven miles, which isn't isn't bad, bad morning's work at all. The run was actually at two o'clock, but the point still stands. So yeah, just really enjoy my easy runs, even though I don't listen to music and I normally do them on my own, but I still enjoy them. Just enjoying, enjoying the world really, the, the atmosphere, the birds and the trees and all that, all that sort of junk. So yeah, nice sort of easy start to the week. Can't really say that about Thursday, which was the track session. So 5,001K and 400. So a minute between the Ks and the fours and a minute between sets. 1K is aiming for my 10K pace. So roughly about 3.30 per K. And the 5K is sort of at, uh, the 5k is at 400 meter pace? No, the four, the 400 meters at 5k pace. So sort of aiming for 76, which is roughly about 16 minute 5k, which is the big target for sort of the summer. So yeah, that was sort of the, the mini vlog, mini vlog content for this week's video. So let's get straight into that and see how I got on with this session. Yes guys, so we've got a big dog, Oscar on, on photography for the session. It's gonna be five times 1k, at probably just 10k pace and then short break like 45 seconds and then 400 at 5k pace times five then probably a few 200s at the end just to get the legs moving so yeah not the not a huge tough session but just getting it going at a decent pace and obviously sort of the main thing for this week is the long run session on saturday but yeah let's stop talking and let's get running
Yes guys, session done. Just had to do my cool down. It's a really good session, yeah, and really consistent. Did the average of K's in about 328. Most of those was quicker than 328. So the last one was about 332. Struggled a little bit on that, but still kept it around that sort of pace, that 10k pace, which is good. Then the fours at 5k pace, around 76, 77. It's about 16 minute 5k pace for obviously my big target for the summer. So yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Solos used to be sort of my big sort of weakness. I was really bad at solo sessions. Now I start to get a bit better with them. Obviously I do prefer group runs, but or group sessions, but yeah, it's good to obviously be able to knock out some good solo sessions when you're not able to do them in a group. So yeah, I'll go home, have a rest. Easy run tomorrow, then long run session Saturday, which will be good. So yeah. So yes guys, really good session as you can see from that. See, really just good confidence booster. Starting to build a little bit of momentum in these first few weeks. So hopefully yeah, I can take that into the next sort of phase of the training plan. So moving on to Friday, rare Friday run as I sort of would normally be my rest day, but sort of just jiggled around the week just to make it easier for this week. So yeah, uh, six miles easy. For some reason, chorus didn't sink. It actually does that sometimes for some reason. I don't know if anyone else has a chorus and just on the odd occasion it just doesn't sync to Strava after syncing to the Chorus app. So yeah, if you've got any solutions to that, let me know in the comments, it'll be very useful. So I had to just manually upload it and attach the, the picture from Chorus. So yeah, six miles of recovery. And another of my classic routes, just nice and easy. Uh, it was the evening, so it's just starting to get dark. So, so you had the trusty head torch. Yeah, another enjoyable run, another enjoyable easy run. Really enjoy those, just loosen the legs and yeah so that was the week that the weekdays done so before we get into the weekend we'll move into the discussion for this week so question for this week what is your favorite race distance of course sort of a classic simple question so for me it's got to be the 5k so it's sort of how I started with sort of park runs and it's still always the distance that I always come back to I've always sort of my main goals that I've set have been related to the 5k and even now which is as much as I am training for this first half my still main goal for this year is to do a sub 16 5k hopefully in the summer so yeah, I just love the 5k you know it's just sort of obviously it's still aerobic based it's like 96 97 percent aerobic I'm pretty sure but not you know completely really long like you know the half and the marathon so yeah my favourite race distance is the 5k. Let me know in the comments what your favourite race distance is. So now, let's move on to the weekend to finish off week three. So Saturday, long run. For all of my life as a runner, I've always done my long runs just, just at easy pace. Obviously, it's going to change a little bit for this training plan. So we'll do more long run sessions. It's more of a mini session for this one. So it was a, a 18k long run including two times 3 Ks at half marathon pace. It's not a huge amount of effort, but it's just getting me used to that sort of different style of long runs. So it was 5K easy, 3K at half pace, 5K easy, 3K at half pace, then 2K cooldown. So for sort of the first 3K, 402, four minutes and 354, as you can see on the screen. So nice little progressive. And then 358, 358 and 355 for the second 3K. So quicker than the sort of target half pace of four minutes, which will get me, I'm not actually sure what exactly that would get me for a half, but I know that 405 is 125. So yeah, the target is just sub 125. Wasn't 100% sure if to go for a 120 or 125. I've just thought it's my first half, get a solid time under the belt. I'm not even 20 yet, I'm still young. Plenty of time to hit a really fast, fast half. So yeah, 125 is the goal. And also just 4K pace, 4K, Four minute per K pace is just so sort of ingrained in me now. The amount of times I've paced 20 minutes at park run, I'm just so used to it. So yeah, it will be a really good pace for me to hopefully run my debut half. So yeah, that was Saturday, good long run session. Some really tough ones in the plan, like some pretty brutal long runs to come. So yeah, Sunday, finish the week off with double. Four in the morning, just a nice run through town, obviously, if you know Bath, well, it's actually a city, not town, but if you know Bath, well, you know, the city is normally stacked with shoppers and tourists and just people. 
So yeah, at nine o'clock on a Sunday morning, it was pretty much empty. So it was really nice just sort of run through the streets of town without having to try and avoid knocking over members of the public. So yeah, then went to work, did my seven hour shift, finished at half seven, then ran home, 5K easy. Nice way to end the week, sort of a start of the week easy, end it with easy. Yeah, so 70.5K for the week. That's my longest ever week, which is kind of surprising thinking of how long I've been running. I think the big thing about this is that my longest week in terms of mileage, but it didn't feel like it. Like, my legs are feeling great. Definitely shows that my body and my legs are now ready. I'm ready to, to run a half. I'm ready to get my mileage up. So yeah, we'll see. Next week is a recovery week, so it'll be about 60-ish K. And only sort of one harder run. It's, I think it's gonna be longish tempo. And then after that, sort of the next phase, next three weeks after this recovery, we will be sort of really building it up. So yeah, so sort of be increasing my highest mileage every week. So yeah, that was week three. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, keep running.